Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, as always, for tuning in to Public Freakouts Unleashed. This is undoubtedly the worst video, and by worst, I, of course, mean the best video ever recorded in the history of the universe. No, but seriously, guys, this video is absolutely crazy. We're going to start uh, relatively light with this woman here, uh, just as a, a nice appetizer for you. This lady shows up at the doorstep of the woman recording this video for no apparent reason and does this. Get away from my house and close my door. Close my door. And what's your name? None of your business. Okay, but yeah, you come up here bamming on my door, wake me up, wake my child up, and now you won't leave. Call the police. Call them. Okay. I don't give a damn. Okay. Stay in them with your little camera. I will. He's just as bad as you are. <laughs> Lady, you don't know my child. My child minds his business your child just as acts I do. like you. How do you know my child when he barely even leaves the house? Who are you, lady? Who are you? I would really love to know. Okay, now as promised, we're gonna dive into the truly nutty stuff. Um, this lady gets out of her car after a parking lot, parking space dispute in a, by the way, completely empty parking lot and starts punching and kicking this woman's car. Worth noting that no one was actually harmed in this video. See? Oh my! So this guy comes back to a boot lock on his car. You can see it on the front left tire there. Um, but he comes back and there's a group of people who are teasing him about it and he gets so upset. He essentially belligerently confronts every single person in the area. <laughs> Hey, I love you too. Suck up. Poor in hell. Can you turn that? Turn that off. I know, I want him to. What? Throw a piece up for what you got told that since you're so fucking mad. Uh, I'm mad because y'all some bitches waiting on some shoes. Fuck you. I'm drunk as hell. I'm drunk early. Bro, drunk as hell. He's the one fiending so bad at like 10 a.m. That's why he's even out here in the your first place. Your girl had to pay your shit. You done, you little bitch? That's why your girl had to pay your bill. No, I was walking to pay my bill, you bitch. That's why she already did, though. I pay all the Can you move your trashy car? Can you move your trashy car? Move it. Right. Yeah, this is embarrassing for you. If you, oh my god, that is so embarrassing. You talking to her like that, saying that you pay the bills? You need to get in the car and drive away. This is stupid. No, you need to get in your car. She's embarrassed. <laughs> 
so okay so somebody sent me this video uh recently and i just there was no way i couldn't include it this is one of the one of my favorite clips that i've ever seen so this guy is a a pastor pastor at a church and he during his big uh fiery speech <laughs> discloses that he has discovered witches within his congregation and he plans to oust them we got first and last names of six witches that are in our church and you know what's strange three of you are in this room right now three of you in the room right now you better look in my eyeballs we ain't afraid of you you stinking witch you devil worshiping Satanist witch. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. You so much as cough wrong and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. You were sent to this church to destroy us. You were sent to this church to lure us in. You were sent to this church to cast spells. Listen, some of you been sick because you befriended that witch. Two of you in my wife's ladies Bible study and you know who you are and we gonna ask you to get out or I'll expose you in front of everybody. We got all six of their names. All six of them. Two of them had already been confirmed before that thing ever even said it. First and last night, this chick is new to our church and don't know none of you. So you got a choice. You can leave with your spells all by yourself. Or I'll show up next Sunday with a stage full of brooms. And I'll give you one and I'll fly your tail up out of this place in the name of Jesus. But we ain't playing your spell casting, witchcraft, nonsense, sage burning games. Everybody okay? <laughs> witches are like, nope. <laughs> and your little dog too. You're out, witch. So this guy has a public freak out at a subway and he is just super animated through the whole thing. Guy's a total character. Turn around and tell me they're not gonna accept me, right? And I'm about to just leave my damn sandwich and walk out that damn door. And I really want that sandwich and I got it. More than enough money to buy that sandwich. But the pisses me off uh, part is they handed me uh, that card here last uh, month for a free sub. And now they're going to say, oh, we don't, we don't have it. Read the table. Hour, Show me one on there that tells me it ain't, it ain't I'm, good. I'm in Subway. It's a third. It's a third. Yeah, no, it says from 1-1, one, one, okay, which is January the 1st, till 3-1-2022. That's valid. I mean, I'm not trying to be an ass. Like I said, I got a couple thousand on me. I buy that stuff ten times over. No, I'm just telling you, I did. But this is stupid. To tell me they ain't going to dollar it. When I, when he got the same thing. He said, here, man. All right, can I have one? All right, can I have one? All right, can I have one? turn around and act like, you know what I mean? That was a joke. I got it. Turn it when, you go, when you go to use it. I get what you're saying. I'm going to call you right back when you get in the call. Um, mayonnaise, popcorn ranch, a little bit of... Cause as bad as I want that sandwich, my honey, if that right. car don't work, you can put that sandwich in trash can. I go to another subway. I mean, I'm serious. You, can you use that car or not? No. I know I want the car back then. You gonna tell me to give me some bogus ass car? You gonna send me to do this again in another subway? Huh? This store gave it to me. This store. This store. This store. I'm done. I'm done. This guy gets into it with his manager at a fast food restaurant who tells him essentially that he is completely worthless and doesn't do anything that he's supposed to do. I told you I don't agree. You know what? You don't even go the job that you're supposed to do over here, bro. What? You don't even move fast enough to do the job oh, that you're doing over here. Say, say where? Look. You know we got candy. Look now, at right? this. Chili, that's your job. Hey, answer Thank this you. question. That's your job. Answer this question. Henny Penny, that's your Can job. Can I ask you a question? We didn't use the Henny Penny today. Can Owen, I ask you this question? That's your job. Can I ask you this question? Was keep, I... keep recording. Keep recording. 
Was I in the office with you for 20 minutes while you count the safe and accuse Rochelle of stealing? Yes or no? We was counting over here. Did you accuse right. Rochelle of stealing? I need eyewitness. Right here. Did you accuse All Rochelle right. of stealing? I need to fix the time on the office. That okay. doesn't concern to that. Did you accuse All Rochelle right. of stealing and make a note and then delete it? All right. Did you note? accuse her? Yes, you did. You made a note and you edited it. What are you doing with the you phone? You made a note what in the you system and you the edited it. You recorded That's what you said. Because you trying you to recording? lie on me. You trying to lie on me, bro. Are you recording? Yeah, so All right, camera. so guess what? What's up? You are on Wendy's clock right now. Uh-huh. It's 1242. Because you've been yelling at me for 20 are, minutes. You are on the Wendy's clock. All I'm asking you is... I don't agree yes? with you on the time I took break no, 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 because no, no, no. you didn't know when I went. You get out at 850. You tell me 850, right? You came in, my eyes saw. I didn't tell you. Hey, stop. Not, you all, I'm telling stop? You, all I'm telling you is I don't, you don't agree tell with me you. To stop. Okay. And you know what? You better stop recording. Didn't you just say I wasn't going to have a job? Did you not say I wasn't going to have a job? We got cameras right here. Okay, right? for sure. Did you, all right. I, wanna, I need you to do your finger over there. Does the camera catch your tone right now? Do you, I need you to put your finger in there so I can do my paperwork. Does the camera and do your does job? Does the camera do catch your job? And you told me to go home already, you right? Didn't, you didn't want to put your finger. So what? I, what I should I do? If I don't agree with you on the time I was out, you can't edit my Bro, break. Bro, I have to fix your time for your break. You cannot get paid for one break that you was outside, man. Bro, was you not outside arguing today? Eight fifty. Was you not outside arguing today? Eight fifty nine thirty one. Was you outside arguing today though? Was you getting paid for that? Eight fifty nine thirty one. Was you getting paid for that? Eight fifty nine thirty one. Was you getting paid for that? A fifty nine thirty one. Cool. Say Go less. Go do your job. Say less. This next lady very obviously causes serious damage to this guy's truck, and then turns around, tells him it's no big deal, and he can fix it with a plunger. I didn't get nothing on you. You hit my truck. I can't. Look at this big dent right there. Too bad. No, not too bad. What the? It's gonna cost for that nothing. You pull it out with a plunger. No. Yeah, you, Joe. No. You got a plunger, you pull it out. No. Yes, yes. Big f***ing deal. You pull it out with a goddamn plunger. That's nothing. You know that's nothing. That's not nothing. Yes, it is nothing. You could pull it out with a plunger. You couldn't have backed up without hitting me in the, hitting my car? Of course I could have. I didn't know I'd hit your car. Maybe uh, I didn't. How do you know? Just a little bit of paint on it. That's yeah, all right. You have a fucking dent. You Imagine that. Down. There's one I've been really waiting and, and looking forward to showing you guys. So this dude went to a bar in the area before he came to catch his flight. And this is the result. This is absolute mayhem. Get the f away! Get the f away! 
way. If you smart, get the way. And speaking of absolute mayhem, this guy caught a really gnarly confrontation at a Walmart between these two women, and then a secondary confrontation between him and all of the staff of this Walmart when they, when one of the, the employees that was dealing with this situation realizes that he is, in fact, recording that. You can't, you can't tell me what I can do with my phone. You got me messed up. This lady trying to tell me I can't record. Then you can't stop me from recording, lady. You cannot stop me recording. You can't, you can't, you can't do nothing about me recording. I record you. You in public. You in public. You in, re hey, you in public. I record. This lady trying to tell me I can't record. I can record if I want to, lady. Don't record me. Hey, don't, don't touch my phone. Don't, don't, don't touch my phone. personal property. Get away from me. Well, you came to me. You came to me. Get in my way. Security, get this man You came to me. Store. You can't get push me out the store because I'm recording, lady. Keep your hands off my property. Stop. Look, you getting recorded. Yeah, he's recording. This lady trying to tell me I can't record her. She need to learn a little more about the law. You have to go. They want you to go. You have to go. Okay, well, she can't tell me I can't record. I ain't doing nothing wrong. They don't like it. It don't matter what they don't like. This lady here is the one that's trying to get me kicked out. Yeah. Yeah, these people here trying. Don't touch my property. Don't touch my property. I'm going. Don't touch my property. Can't tell me I can't record. They, don't, they need to learn the law. Because I'm recording with them people doing They're trying to tell me I can't record. They're going to kick me out of the stuff. Now these people over here, they they the ones with the problem. Now she gonna tell me I'm too close to her, but she came to me. Then you gonna touch my phone? I'm over here. No, they can't touch phone. No, they came in. She grabbed my phone. I got. I'm gonna get her name. Cause that's assault. She, I'm gonna teach her about recording. Match something that's not there. Oh, can we sell it by the United no. of pounds? No. To, since it's not by the bags. No. We can price the no, matches in matches a, a pound. Item. It's not the same item. It's the same you, we do not for the say large, it's not like item. for the same item, nope, it not is not like since a pound. It's a bagged item. Uh, mine's are no. not the mine's not the no. bagged ones. It's no. The answer is no. You can. Can you, you can improve make, service? You can, can you improve service, please? Hey, don't touch my phone. That's an assault. That's an assault. You just touched my phone. You touched just my phone. That's an assault. I'm calling the police. Well, this is already pretty bad on its own. It's made 10 times worse by the fact that it happened at a kindergarten after school pickup line. Is that an elementary school? It's a line. It's a line. You move. You don't like it. Get out the line and wash your ass. You shut up. You don't like it for no reason. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Yikes. This next video is quite long, but I found it thoroughly entertaining, so I've included it mostly in its entirety. This guy um, asked to use the bathroom at uh, a woman's house while he was apparently working in this area. Uh, she called the cops on him in response, thinking he must have been some kind of unsavory character or whatever. Cops show up. He clearly is not a fan of law enforcement, and he says so in the video, but he... Um, he, he gets into an argument with this guy initially and asks him to call his supervisor, which he begrudgingly does, and it just escalates. And, and the, you can tell that this dude who's talking right here is really, really, really pissed off. I work for Baldwin County Small Engine Repair. I own my business. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so let me explain to you what's going on. Uh, what is going on? Like I said, I'm filming only for my, you know, that's fine. I, I don't care the First Amendment. Filming. If you want press. me to tell you what's going on, I'll gladly do that, but of course. you got to kind of be quiet so I can do that. Do you have your ID on you? The reason why we're here is the lady on the other side called us because someone came and asked to use her bathroom. Oh, she that was me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I went to the laundromat. I was, Perfect. yeah, I, I went, I, I, wanna, I walked around. Do you mind if I just identify who you are? That way I know in case something comes back about this that... You know, I don't want to give up my Fourth Amendment, right? You know, that is my fourth amendment. Yeah, to illegal search and seizure of your personal exactly. effects and documents and papers. But, yeah. you know, um, I'm working on a generator. That's all I'm doing. Just because I asked her for oh. if I can use her restroom, you, uh, that is not against the law because I did not go inside her building. I did not go inside at all. I went to the laundromat. Sir, I walked all the way around can I, can to the I front. Can I interrupt you for one second and make this a lot simpler? What's can, your first thing? Can you, can you please uh, call your, your supervisor for me, if you don't mind? I'll call my supervisor for you, but if I interrupt him during lunch, we're going to make this I, I, work. I would, work yeah. I would appreciate it if you would call him for me. Yeah, no problem. You know, that, is, meantime, that is my right. In the meantime, I'm can not, I I'm please not. at least know your first name because I'm now I'm conducting a police investigation and you are obligated you, you to comply can, with it. Like I said, Baldwin County Small Engine Repair. My name is right there on I'll my take sign. A too my name is right there on my sign. Well, that's fantastic. So, I don't understand why you have to make my job so hard. I didn't know why y'all were coming out I just because. It to you, didn't I? I mean, just because she I was coming out. You? She came out here twice, and I've been out here working on a, a generator. Yeah. I mean, I just, what do you think? I just because... I don't see a name, Mary. Do you have... Okay, do you have a business license in this town? I do. Okay, I'd like to see that. Baldwin County Small Engine Repair. This is my name. I mean, I would like to talk to your supervisor. Yeah, he's on just his as way. Soon, yeah. Just as you soon as... business license now. I want your business license now. Well, this is my name. No, that is not your business license. Give me your business license. I need to talk to your supervisor. Give me uh, why? Why I want did you why to did provide you provide me with your business license? Why? If people like you are going to be conducting business in this town and making it what difficult for the police to do their to jobs. We're going to make sure you have a business license. What did I do wrong to you? Nothing. Why? Why did where, she call the law does, on me? Why do you think? No. Why? Do you I, why? Think why she and why? Are, why aren't you wearing a mask too? By the way, I'm sir. I'm not required to wear a mask. Well, I mean, it's only for my safety. That's why I'm calling why for a supervisor. So I'm not making anything difficult. I look, hey, if your supervisor, if I can talk to your supervisor and you can get him on scene, I would appreciate that. He's in route. Thank you. I'm you know that all all this all this right here is uncalled for. The owner uh, called me if, if to come and work on the generator. If now, you just provided your ID. I, look, hey, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not at law to give up my Fourth Amendment right if I haven't done anything wrong. If I haven't, provide your business license. I will give it to your supervisor just as soon as he gets here. Like I said, I did my taxes yesterday. What's your taxes got to do with this? Well, I mean, all my stuff's up there at H and R Block. I'm sorry. All my stuff's up there. My driver's license? No, I'm not giving up my fourth ID now. My Fourth Amendment now. If you're, you're required by Alabama state law to provide me with your name and address, will you provide that information to me? I will yes when no? your supervisor gets here. Now, yes or no? I will when your supervisor gets here, sir. Look, that this is my right. What right? So you're telling me I don't have rights? If I'm conducting a police investigation, do you have the right to impede it? Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, you just because she called the law on me, 
I didn't do anything wrong. That's why I'm asking for your supervisor. Now, there's no reason for you to be acting like that. Acting all right? Like what? Doing my job? I don't care if I have to speak a little bit louder if, if to you're, you to if get you're, my point if you're super, if you're, There's if, nothing inappropriate about that. If your that. supervisor... You keep interrupting me and talking over me. If your supervisor asks for my ID, that's why I want your supervisor. If he asks for my ID, I'd be more than happy to give it to him. Now I, I you're getting you're you. getting mad and I you're getting argued. You look, one police officer is not good enough for you. Another police officer is. I don't good trust enough for you cops. I don't look. Hey, I well, got the fantastic. Constitution. I don't trust you. Keep your hands out of your pocket for me. Do it right now. I look. Hey, I don't have any weapons or anything like that. I have tools. Okay. Behind the building. We're in the, the now, I don't know why it's so difficult for me to work on a small engine when I am mobile and I do pay my taxes. I stay in Foley, mm -hmm. but in the same fact, I've been doing this for four years and this is kind of crazy that somebody called the law on me just because I, I didn't know that, guess what? She was going to call the law on me. Hi, sir. How you doing, sir? Good, what's up? Well, give me elbows, you know, just elbows. Well, Verbal, we're good. yeah, no, you know, this gentleman right here is very cordial. He's not. I was just out here working on a generator. Keep then, your hands out of your pockets, please. I don't have any weapons on me at all. I, the only have, reason, have the only ever, reason why she called the cop. Have, have we ever met before? No, sir. So we haven't. Personal feelings aside. Yeah, of course. We got a call out here. And I don't. Unusual. I've never. I'm just being honest. I've never seen you. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. And I'm just working on a generator. That's okay. all I'm doing. The owner called me out here to work on a generator. Okay. That's it. Okay. You know, I needed to use the restroom. I drink a lot of water. And she told me, I, I walked around the front. I guess, you know, she. Even she came outside a couple of times. You know, and I asked. The next door? Okay. She came out a couple of times and yeah. seen, me, seen I was working on a generator. Now, yeah. wh who's going to call the law on me if they see me? I got a generator tore down, tore apart, and that's all I'm doing is working on it. Now, I didn't know that none of these facilities in the front, actually, you had to have, uh, it's not open to the public to use a restaurant. I did not know that at all. Okay. So I went to the laundry mat gotcha. to go use the restroom. Now... I don't know if she got scared for me. I I I have my mask and everything. I wear a KN95 no mask. No clue, man. I have no idea. You know, and that's what I'm trying to figure out because somebody called law on me for something I didn't do. I I don't I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Who are you working for? Uh, um, Adam Keenan. That's the guy from uh, B6. He's uh he owns this right here. Is he here? No, sir. He is not. I would have to call him. What's the company name that he that he runs? I know I I know it's a paint store. Okay. He paints. I do know that much. Okay. Now I can be more than happy to give him a call, but you know I the only reason why I'm filming this is my First Amendment, freedom for the press. Well, good yep. You know, and I don't mind giving you my ID. You know, he was extreme. You're extremely cordial. This gentleman right here was not. That's why I asked for a supervisor because I did nothing wrong. Well, just being very open about it. Of it's course, not at your discretion. Who's going to respond? Of course. So whether personal again, personal feelings aside, you may not like how it was asked. Yeah, I, I mean, we can I, talk about that. I, I told her. I said, you know, I, she said this front of the building right here is uh, not open to the public, but this front is. So I ran to that front. And I went over there and I used the restroom. And I mean, that's all I did. Like, seriously. And it's not like I went into anybody's building. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing at all. So, I mean, I don't understand. I'm, dra I'm draining. Yeah, I'm draining. Yeah, it's bad gas. You know, you can't. I just cleaned the carburetor. And like I said, you can't put bad gas into a carburetor you just cleaned because sure. that defeats the purpose. You know, just to make something run. I mean, Hurricane Sally, everything like that. Everybody needs a generator. Everybody needs power. Let me throw this scenario out there. Of course. We get a call about an unusual person that nobody's seen before. We get here. Yeah, I mean, I... I set, just let me, yeah, of course. Let me, let me stay. We get here. Somebody is draining gas out of a piece of equipment. The business owner 
is not present. So we're trying to figure out who's here. Do they have a reason to be here? Do you we want me? I can give him a call real quick we if you want me to. to identify you. You're of the course. I, I, you, 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 I don't, you know, I don't mind. Just give it to that officer. That way he can do that and we can all get done with what we got to do. But. Of course. And like I said, I went to H&R Block yesterday and they have all my business information. I do pay my taxes every single year. I do every single year. I am a mobile service. Okay. Do you, you know. Do you have a business license for the state of Orange Beach? I know I got a business license for Baldwin County. I do know that much. So just make sure whatever. Yes, sir. I completely, to, I completely understand. Every city has got certain restrictions, requirements. And they I, might I have will. Something they need yep. from you to I can, be able to approve of you working in the city. Yes, sir. So it's something you definitely need to do that. Because yes, sir. You've got to have a city business license. I completely understand. I do. I do all day long. Rainbow? I do. Oh, Foley. Okay. Yeah, and I've been here for 12 years. Um, like I said, I've been doing this for four years. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I... Do you have a number for the business owner that we can talk to? Yes, sir. Give me just a second. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time.